Hello guys, what's up? It's on um, me, it's been a little bit since I made a video, and um, it's actually been since October, and I said I need to make a video, so here's a real quick video. Have you ever been at home and you have a, let's say, a DVD like Jumanji, or, or there's so many movies out there, that you wanted to copy and um, put on like a your computer to watch, or just for a vacation trip, or if you're at a library, you get a DVD and you want it? But you can't get it to work because it's kind of protected. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that. So first of all, you need is a, the movie, a CD drive, or D, I mean DVD drive, which obviously you probably should have, and um, a program to rip them. So you have the movie, and yeah. So what you're gonna need is a program called DVD four three. So I'm just gonna type it in DVD forty three. And it's a free program that I don't know who made it or anything. Extremely fast. And it's probably the simplest program I've used. Um, right here. Download site, right here. Click it. It's amazing. It's this, I've been, it's virus free. It should be, this is what they say. So, and it's 555 kilobytes and literally installs under a minute. So it's extremely fast and everything. So there's, it's a really good program. I'd recommend it. So you install that and everything. And now if I go, click on here, and I have my CD drive. I thought I had it in here. And I want to copy a movie, for instance, Jumanji. Let me just let it load. I'll pause it. So obviously, I don't know if you can see what the movie is running, but I don't want that. You probably can or cannot see that. So I have my CD drive, click on it, and I have Norton installed on my computer to use, and I just put copy disk because I want to copy it, obviously. There's other programs you can probably, I don't know if that's shampoo, burn video works, or shampoo, or whatever, but I do this, okay, copy, and there's other ones to use, let's, start, let's do this. This DVD is copy protected and cannot be read. Okay... What am I supposed to do? That's kind of weird, I guess. So, now what you're going to need to do is since you have DVD for 3 installed on your computer, you need to double click on it, and bam, that's all that's going to happen. As you saw, there's a little yellow face right down here. Now it says DVD scanning drive. All this is, it just scans it. And you, there's nothing to you. Just open it up and you let it go. And when you want to make sure it's ready, here goes the movie again. I'm going to play that today. While well, I'm doing all my other stuff. Um, it, don't want to watch it. Um, now as soon as it's a green face, it's all good. You click this. And you copy disk. I recommend DVD Shrink really because this one I copied one and made an eight gig file so I couldn't copy it because my friend had a movie I wanted instead of just downloading it. Then I get the entire movie with the menu and everything. But now watch, I hit copy. Bam. Creating an image for a brain. And if you can hear this. My CD drive is running fast now. I don't want I don't want your manji since I have it. Why do it? It works now. Now as you can see, nothing happened. It just said the process was aborted. So, anytime you guys um, need to get a movie from the library and copy it, just get DVD 4.3 or DVD 43, and you'll always be able to copy your copy protected DVDs. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Subscribe for more videos, and I will be making more videos. And, um, yeah, good day.